Hello guys, and let's talk about nuclear exercises. Well, perhaps that's not the offer you expect to hear from a lady, but if a lady is a Ukrainian, after 20 months of brutal Russian invasion, I am more than ready to discuss complicated topics. Moreover, I think it's vital for global security and peace. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine, so if you want to receive updates from my country during these challenging times, please subscribe, share, like and help us fight informational war. And if you are a long-time friend of the channel, check your subscription and push notification button, because Russian trolls are working. And today I have entered this sarcastic Anna regime, so please forgive if you don't like it, but this is one of the instruments that helps me survive in this world that is getting worse and worse with each day and each month. And sometimes I feel like we've returned to the times of the Cold War, but for Ukraine it's a hot war, I mean globally. And um, my vlogs remind me this like weather forecast in times of cold and hot war on the planet. And Russia decided to take it further, to escalate it more. And a kind reminder, a victim, Ukraine cannot escalate this war, it's always Russia that continues putting more and more on the stakes and threatening the world, behaving as a terrorist state. Subscribe if you agree with me. And recently they decided to conduct tests of their nuclear weapons. Well, they are reading our comments, they are following the media, they realize that most of the myths about the strength of Russian army were debunked by Ukrainian armed forces and now no one treats them as the second strongest army in the world, perhaps the second strongest army in Ukraine. And there were lots of comments saying that we don't have to be afraid of nuclear escalation because perhaps all the weapons that Russia has aren't working. They are corrupt, they don't spend much money on maintenance, and by the way, it's not a joke, I really think so. But reading all of these comments, they decided to show off and organized drills, and uh, to do that, they had to denounce uh, their decision not to participate in nuclear tests, and the parliament of Russia, can we say it like the band, like the gang inside Russia, that is known as the Russian parliament, decided to annul the ratification of that agreement, pretending they mirror the actions of the US that signed the agreement but did not ratify the agreement. But it's always like that with terrorists, they will always find an explanation for their crimes. So Russia quickly denounced their participation in that treaty and started the tests like hours later after that. I see it as a problem that very few media outlets spoke about that. I understand that the focus shifted a little bit from Ukraine to other hot zones on the planet, but my greatest advice, do not focus on how to help nations that suffer. I mean it, don't focus how to help Ukraine, focus how to stop that evil that causes troubles in Ukraine and other parts of the world. We have um, done a couple of mistakes. We look on how to help Ukrainians survive, but we should change and look how to stop Russia from doing what it does. Because the moment Russia stops war in Ukraine, everything stops. It's not about Ukraine, it's not about other people who protest other authoritarian regimes. So we have to remember that and that's my Ukrainian advice. So what did they do with these nuclear tests? They decided to check everything they can and they launched ballistic and cruise missiles using land, sea and air technologies. Once again, like I'm not a specialist in nuclear weapons, but Russia makes me too. And um, they did it far away, somewhere in the Far East. A beautiful reminder, Russia has so many territories. Russia is the largest country in the world. And all these territories are really depressive, like lots of work to do. But Russia does not want to work with these territories. It believes it needs more. Like Ukraine and other countries, believe me, they have plans for many of the countries around Ukraine. And um, like to spread misery, to spread problems and not to change something inside Russia. Like, guys, you have enough territories, relax. You have problems with the way these territories 
look bad. Um, so, um, to some extent, they return back to this Cold War rhetoric where they post video, uh, they uh, write articles about the successful tests of this missiles. Honestly, we don't know why they successful. For me, the word success in Russia are kind of uncombinable. But uh, so what they did, I have even put down the name of uh, that ballistic missile, Yars Intercontinental Ballistic um, Missile. Perhaps they want to stress this um, threat that no one on the planet is safe until Russia is Russia. And I actually agree with this statement. Uh, so it was launched uh, from the far east of uh, Russia, also using submarines in the Barents Sea and using two uh, 95 MS bombers, bomber jets. So they tested land, air and uh, water. Of course, we don't know <laughs> where this test is uh, successful, but anyway, it helps them to uh, threaten the world. And unfortunately, many, many people are afraid of that. And you know that fear is definitely not the emotion or how do you call it, a thing that helps you win. And if you start following the demands of terrorists, you simply get more and more and more of their demands. Uh, that's why uh, it actually um, reminds me that many, many global influencers, politicians, owners of social media, uh, they uh, want to sacrifice Ukraine because they believe this is a sacrifice they can give to Ukraine and uh, to, to, to Russia and everything will stop. No. It's never like that. I'm sure uh, you watched a number of like stupid detective films where someone blackmails you and asks money and it is never about this one sum of money that they are satisfied with. It always continues. And the greatest advice that anyone can give, if someone blackmails you, if someone threatens you, protest, act, fight against that. So please don't give up on Ukraine because this will mean giving up on the world in general. And this access of evil is very, very visible now. Russia, North Korea, Iran, China that does it in disguise. And uh, this is like super dangerous. This resembles Cuban Missile Crisis or even worse because war for Ukraine is real, it's big war, it's something close to the Second World War for my people and my cities. Anyway, my greatest advice would be let us think about uh, this war in terms how to stop Putin, not how to help people survive, withstand this winter or something like that. If we stop this evil, we don't have any problems. We don't need any support. We don't have any threats. Imagine what a beautiful place this world would be and how different we are. Those democracies who care about environment, who care about equality and regimes like Putin's, like Iranian, when they don't care about anything and they are ready to bomb this beautiful planet with nuclear weapons. This is tragic and very dark. And my sympathy to uh, the US, because I've read about this mass shootings and it's a tragedy and it's so unpredictable and so bad. And it is just another bad news that makes us feel worse. Uh, stay strong and condolences to the people influenced by this tragic event. Also, let me know what do you think um, about the changes in the US politics. Hopefully that won't influence the support of Ukraine a lot because I am a great supporter of the US. I'm super grateful to uh, the country and the support that you demonstrate to us. And I'm super grateful to all of your countries and all of your peoples and all of your friends. Thank you so much for being friends of Ukraine and of the channel. Check your subscriptions, like, comment, help us fight some problems on YouTube. Thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my uh, patrons and uh, introduce yourself to my pages on Instagram, Threads, Twitter and Discord. We have a beautiful merch shop and most importantly, continue fighting with us because it's not about Ukraine, it's about the world. Slavo Ukraini!